Russia, France, tensions are boiling over. Two countries are on the verge of war. French President Emmanuel Macron has gone beyond merely talking about the possibility of deploying NATO troops in Ukraine, taking steps to form a coalition of military trainers who would work inside the former Soviet Republic, preparing Kiev's soldiers to fight Russian forces. We want to have a coalition for reasons of efficiency and several of our partners have already given their agreement. Macron told, we will use the coming days to finalize the largest possible coalition capable of responding to Ukraine's request. Macron didn't identify the countries other than France that have committed to send trainers to Ukraine. He argued that dispatching specialists to do training work inside Ukraine shouldn't provoke a Russian response. We are not at war with Russia, Macron said. We do not want an escalation, but we want to do everything in our power to help Ukraine resist. Is it an escalation if Ukraine asks us to train mobilized soldiers on its soil? That does not mean deploying people, European or Allied soldiers on the front line. French forces have already trained around 10,000 Ukrainian troops in France and other NATO countries. Russian officials have repeatedly warned that any foreign military personnel in Ukraine would be considered legitimate targets for attack, regardless of their duties and locations. The Russian Foreign Ministry said Macron's belligerent rhetoric and provocative statements had escalated the Ukraine crisis. Given Macron's previous somewhat softer approach to Russia from the build-up to and the early years of the war in Ukraine, it has been a bit of a surprise to see his vault face to now become one of the more hawkish voices in NATO, William Freer, a research fellow with the UK-based Council on Geostrategy think tank, told Newsweek. It does seem that the Kremlin has not taken this change well, he added. Reports from late May had suggested Paris could be poised to send military trainers to Ukraine, a move publicly delicate with many NATO countries eager to avoid a direct conflict with Russia in Ukraine. Kiev's army chief, Colonel General Alexander Sirsky, signalled paperwork had been signed to allow a first wave of French military instructors to visit our training centres soon and familiarise themselves with their infrastructure and staff. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said in remarks reported by Russian state media that all instructors who train Ukrainian troops have no immunity from Russian strikes, whether they are French or not. If you send your soldiers, your specialists, your instructors to Ukrainian soil so that they can train Ukrainian soldiers to better target and kill the Russians, they will naturally constitute a legitimate target. Alexander Makogonov a spokesperson for Russia's embassy in France told French broadcaster BFM TV, These are outrageous statements that will not go unanswered. French Foreign Ministry Deputy Spokesperson Christophe Lemoyne reportedly said, 